welcome back welcome to a new video welcome to 2024 first video of 2024 i cannot believe it took me this long i wasn't definitely i wasn't planning on like taking such a huge break off of youtube and social media but it just happened it is what it is i learned not to stress about it because uh, at first i was very very like frustrated and just unhappy and it was causing me a lot of like anxiety just the thought of like abandoning this and what i do here but sometimes life just happens and you cannot control things and i am learning to be at peace with that and just enjoy life as is so we are back i am in miami you guys i finally arrived yesterday no two days ago uh, you saw just a few clips from the plane i flew in with Yago. giacomo came in one day earlier with watson we had to split and take two separate planes i'll tell you more about that like later on it's just been like a crazy crazy few months for me and i don't really know where to start but i guess we'll start from where i left off and where was that let me just check like in my last videos what happened so the last update was the uh, pet sitter drama like what happened in that video i think i told you guys about our house hunting trip and that was it so november starts giacomo moves to miami he had to start his work here at first of november i'm just gonna give you guys like a chronological rundown of the events i'm not gonna tell you like all of the details about everything because that would make this like a one hour and a half long video and i don't really have time for that i also want to do this more in like a vlog format and bring you guys along uh, my day today so i don't want to have this like long ass intro and just sit here and talk to you about like everything that happened but i still want to put you in the loop like quickly so he moves uh in november to start his work he had to start january sorry guys november 1st and uh initially the idea was that we moved together like we go together as a family we have our stuff shipped we pack up everything and we do like a proper normal move like we would do uh, usually back in i think it was 2022 we bought two properties in europe one of them being my mom's apartment in belgrade um, and the other one was our apartment in spain in marbella i don't think i ever talked about this on youtube because i just i guess like somewhere deep inside i am a little bit more of like a private person in general and i don't really enjoy sharing a lot a lot if you know what i mean so i just did not feel like that was something that i wanted to share and it wasn't like related to anything else and it was something that was not affecting me in any way so it was just bizarre for me to like you know just talk about it but now i am talking about it because it actually affected my life so both of these properties were bought off plan so there was nothing there besides the land so the first property the one in spain was supposed to be finished uh, december 2023 and the apartment in belgrade my mom's apartment was supposed to be finished mid 2024 like somewhere may june 2024 um we realized that the project in belgrade was moving so much faster like so much ahead of time and there is a high high chance that we are going to get the keys to both apartments at the same time pretty much and then when we got the news that we're gonna move to miami then giacomo needs to start working in november i was panicking because because I just realized that we're gonna have like three life-changing huge moments in our lives happening at the same time pretty much and that's exactly what happened so we decided that it would be the best for me to stay in Europe to stay in and when I say Europe I'm like being vague I know Europe is not a country some people get so upset when people talk about Europe as like one place but you guys it kind of is like the States um, I mean, we are very connected. It's very easy to travel within Europe. We're not the same country, but it's very easy to move from one country to another. It's pretty comparable to like living in the United States. So that's why people say like, oh, Europe. Uh, but I'm just clarifying this, like you don't know geography, but I know some people get triggered like, oh, Europe is not a country. But when I say Europe, I mean like I stayed in our apartment in Italy and I stayed there because we had the rent paid. We had a lease up until May 2024, so I could stay there pretty much all the time as long as I needed. 
and it was the best decision because it was super easy for me to go to Belgrade and help my mom with everything that is happening there and then go back home and go to Spain when we get the keys to our apartment in Spain so it was kind of like the midway and it was the best decision at that time I still think it was a great decision I don't know how else we could have done the whole thing and the logistics of everything was Oh, insane and I'm sorry if I am getting out of breath but just thinking about everything that I've done the amount of travel the amount of car travel that I did like road trips and everything is just so overwhelming I'm so proud of myself I I am giving literally just myself credit here but I have to and I think it's part of like self-love journey and I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on that experience of like buying property like a new development it was pretty similar in both countries so it's kind of like a universal process I think and probably it would um, benefit to share that information because I wish I knew like everything and like how to be smarter about certain things and all that. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna put a pause to storytelling and we're gonna go and give a walk to the dogs. They're sleeping now, but I wanna give them a nice walk so I can come back here, get back to work. There's a lot that I need to organize and sort Then I'm gonna show you guys everything. We're gonna do all of this together. You're still gonna get like a moving vlog from me anyways because I just moved in and there is still, you know, like a lot that I need to do. I need to furnish the place and everything. And yeah, we're just gonna start with Miami vlogs. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to the story, tell you like what else happened on the way. But first things first, let's give a walk to the doggies. here like I've been skipping uh, breakfast and I'm just having like early lunch thing so this has been like my lunch for the past three days it's the third time I'm making it and it's just uh, tortillas some eggs bacon a bunch of veggie and cilantro and a bottle of water I don't have any like cups or glasses or anything I'm gonna eat this I'm so hungry I have a little headache so I want to eat this and I can take like a painkiller so it can go on with the day Does anyone remember like the days and time before Amazon? Because you guys, Amazon has been like my saving grace, like my go-to place since we arrived because, well, first off, we have one car, so we have a car. Giacomo just got uh, his car. He picked it up right before uh, picking me up the same day as I arrived. So that was great timing, but we have only one car and in all fairness, I want to like maybe go for like a first ride um, one of the next days like together with him just to get like familiarized with, I don't know, just driving here. I think it's pretty much the same as driving in Europe, but like you never know. I feel like I still want to have someone next to me just to like, you know, do like a first ride so I get like more comfortable also because um, we have a new car and it's a nice one it's pretty big I just feel more comfortable like if we're together than me just taking his car and like going on a drive by myself so we're gonna do that this weekend probably and also we're gonna go and look for a car for myself so that's gonna be fun i'm gonna bring you guys along i'm not gonna tell you now in this vlog which car i am thinking of you're gonna see that in the next one when i go and bring you guys along with us um but yeah 
I have been pretty much like stuck here in the apartment. I mean, stuck. I'm not stuck in the apartment, but I am not able to go and do shopping. I'm not able to go and get stuff and go around because uh, he's using the car to go to the office. So Amazon has been like a life savior. I ordered the first groceries. I had no idea you can order Whole Foods on Amazon. So that was pretty convenient. I have no idea, like I'm still getting into swing of things. So I don't know, like maybe that's like more expensive or something. I have no idea. I just needed some food and I know Whole Foods has like nice selection of organic stuff. So I ordered a bunch of food from there and it was just amazing. It all arrived like the same day. So that's great. <laughs> maybe for you guys that are here in the States, all of these things are like super normal, but uh, ordering groceries and um, yeah, like ordering groceries, even Amazon, although we have it in Italy, it's not as fast. Like, I don't know. I think we have a smaller offer when it comes to things that can be shipped like overnight. I, I think we don't even have like an overnight or like at night delivery, which you have here. So yeah, it is great, but it's, just a tad better here like you guys have better delivery like it's faster and i think there is like a bigger selection of stuff again groceries um i know in italy you can order groceries on amazon like i used to do that during pandemic but uh it was just like one store and it was a very limited offer but yeah enough about that let's start opening up the packages i have a bunch of stuff that's been delivered today i had a couple of orders already for the past two days i've been ordering like crazy because you guys i don't remember if i told you but we basically are furbishing this place from like scratch most of our stuff is already in Spain we had a big shipment a big container uh, that was in the storage that was uh, waiting for our apartment in Marbella to be finished and then everything was shipped over there so while we were in Marbella we actually waited for that shipment as well and it arrived while we were there that was perfect so that was well organized and it went smooth but uh, yeah when we moved here we pretty much just came with our stuff like actual personal belongings clothes and like little pieces here and there but other than that, we don't have pretty much anything in this apartment. I managed to bring just a set of like forks and knives. I have just a few little random bits here in the kitchen. Like, I don't know how this ended up here. Like the um, carrot potato peeler thingy, like random salad um, mixing, whatever utensils. Like just random pieces are here, but pretty much nothing else. I think I have two bowls, uh, one plate, <laughs> like so random. Uh, but yeah, we have nothing in the kitchen. Yeah, I have these cutting boards, a few of them. I don't know, just like some pieces that I had in the apartment in Como that I just like tossed in the shipment, but other than that, like we have to build this apartment from scratch. Uh, one thing that I was really upset about and I want to share here because I don't know if you, any of you guys are moving or planning to move to a different country, a different continent. I think it's more relating to moving to like a completely different region continent because a lot of things change when you move to a different region, uh, especially when it comes to electronics and anything like related to that. I was aware, of course, that we have different power, uh, elect electrical power strength in Europe versus the States. So I think here in the States, it's like a half of the voltage. And um, yeah, I have been aware of that. Somehow I just thought that in this modern day and age, we have devices that can work nonetheless in both regions, but it appeared that that's not true. Pretty much any electronic device that has like a constant power supply, so it's like supplied by power to work like continuous power, like by a cord or something, uh, is not gonna work. From, it's not an absolute rule, but uh, from our experience, it's pretty much like 99% of uh, devices are just not able to function here like European ones and I think it's vice versa and I remember that and I was like 
oh my god what am i gonna do with all my dyson devices so at the time of our move i have already sold my air wrap but i have bought the dyson so did you say supersonic like what what's the name of the blow dryer like dyson blow dryer and i have had uh, my big dyson air purifier which i loved because it really helped with my allergies when uh, it was like a high pollen allergy season and i went online i talked to dyson support and they sadly informed me that none of my devices are going to work in the states unfortunately they say like um there's nothing they can do. They don't sell any adapters or anything. And it is what it is. They just make different devices for each region, depending on the like the electric power they have and just like the requirements of the region. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, this is like a 400 euro slash dollar device, like a hair tool. You know, I didn't have enough time to sell it. Also, when you resell an item like that, you lose money immediately. So it's not really like an option. It's not like something like as an option. I mean, it's basically the end, like the last thing you would resort to. So I was pretty upset, honestly, with their response, with the support, with, I don't know, everything. Like, I mean, these devices cost so much money, at least let people know, give them a heads up. Like this should be something that they, they would like, I'll put like first thing for the consumer to know because especially when it comes to hair tools like you guys i bought my dyson blow dryer first off because i like how fast it dries my hair but second of all it was because of the portability it's probably one of the smallest and lightest blow dryers in the market and of that power of course like you can buy small tiny uh, blow dryers but they usually are terrible at drying your hair so this tool is kind of made for travel and you make it so <laughs> travel unfriendly. I mean, people travel to different countries, continents all the time. That's what people do, like especially people with money. Let's not fool each other. I mean, if you have $400 slash years to spend on a hair tool, sometimes even more, I think like air wrap is more expensive. Maybe the blow dryer is a little bit cheaper than that, but you get what I mean. It's around that much money. And um, yeah, if someone has that much money to spend on a hair tool, that person is gonna travel. That person is clearly someone who has disposable income and is going to travel. So it's not like, I don't know, I just find it so frustrating. The world is so globalized that I figured that somehow these things are no longer an issue, but it seems like they are 2024 and I had to pretty much discard and leave behind all of our electronics. So we have no like printers, we have no vacuum we have no like what else i left well my blow dryer toaster like you name it um blenders like whatever needs power we had to leave it behind so you are gonna see me buy so much stuff and i thought this would be like a good disclaimer to just clear the air out and say no i'm not buying everything new just because i moved and that's it it's because we moved from europe to the states and nothing works here so let's start opening up these packages and see what i got here First one is not so fun and it's the dog food. Let's see what's in here. Okay, it seems like this is gonna be perfect, uh, but I just got like one of the drawer inserts for the kitchen drawer. There are none in here and I need this for like the cutlery, knives, all that. I think I'm gonna open up everything and then we're gonna like try things. Um, like kitchen brushes for the dishes in the sink so yeah we got two of these they came in a pack of two. Oh, I cannot wait to put this on my phone you guys I got a new phone I desperately needed to change my phone but ever since we got the news that we're gonna be moving to the States I was waiting because uh, fun fact electronics are actually cheaper here in the States compared to Europe whereas luxury designer fashion is cheaper in europe so if you can travel and get things in each place that's like ideal but yeah i got a new phone 
and I just ordered the Octobuddy. I had like a dupe that I got on Amazon in Europe because we don't have the Octobuddy in Europe, but there was like a dupe for it. And I'm curious to see if this one is gonna be more durable because the one that I got on Amazon in Italy was not the best quality, it kind of started breaking quickly. And I also got a new iPhone case for my new iPhone, which kind of looked more beige than gray on pictures. And now I see that it looks a lot more gray in person, but I don't mind. It's still nice. It's like very simple, nothing special, but I just needed that. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be, is this enough? Is this good for my phone? I thought it was gonna be more like on a creamy side, more like white beige, and then I thought the pink Octobody would look very cute, but now this is more gray with the pink. I think it's gonna be cute nonetheless. Let me go grab my phone so we can put this on. Have you guys ever seen those like Kardashian parodies on Instagram or TikTok? I don't have TikTok, so anything I see comes from Instagram. Not because I'm like, oh, I love Instagram, it's just because I had it before. So it's like an older app out there, older social media that I still have and I still use. Because like once I jumped in on the wagon, what's the point to resist it? But then when TikTok became popular, I was like, I had it before and then it was becoming more and more popular and I was like, you know what? I don't need another social media platform, another place to spend time on and waste my time. So I decided not to participate. So I still follow and see some trends here and there because they are always like copied and they translate to YouTube and Instagram. So I see stuff. I don't need to have the platform like Probably the biggest trends, they come over to other social media anyways. Anyways, lately I've been seeing reels uh, of people like joking and like pretending they're Kardashians. And there's this one guy who does like an incredible impersonation of them. And um, under his videos, people always comment how he got like all the details right, how he always has his iPhone without a cover. And they're like, oh my God, so Kardashian to have like no cover on your iPhone. So the last few days that I had my phone without a cover, I felt like a Kardashian. I was like, I'm so rich. I don't care if it falls and breaks. But then I got the cover, so no longer a Kardashian. But yeah, it fits nicely, not bad. We'll see if it's like of any quality or not. More fun stuff. I got a glass cooktop cleaner and some buffing cloth that comes with it because previous tenants in this apartment, uh, I'm not gonna throw any shade on them, but also nobody knows who they are. So I don't know, they kind of left things a little messy, I have to admit. Like, I don't know what they were cooking on this stove top, but it's just nasty. Like it looks really bad. I'm not gonna lie like there is clearly like a lot of like old burnt grease on it which kind of like now became part of it and I'm not sure if it's like scratched or if it's just the buildup of like burnt food or something I mean it doesn't look that gross now I mean if I show you guys now I'm exaggerating but I don't know can you see it's not like super shiny you can really see like the rim where the pot was so there are a lot of like marks on it and I just want to try and like buff it out and see if it can go away if it can restore the shine a little bit and I normally wouldn't care, but um, in this kitchen, the aisle has the stove top. So the stove top is on the aisle, it's not the sink. Sometimes it's like uh, the other way around. So because um, the stove top is at the aisle, like I would love to have it like a little more clean, shiny. And if I don't manage to do that, I think I'm gonna get like one of those covers that I've seen that people put on top when they're not cooking, if they have like a stove top. Uh, on the kitchen aisle so yeah I don't know I guess it's like more visually appealing I could not wait for this to arrive it's so funny it's like hilarious things that I ordered that make me so like happy and they're so small this is just the uh, like a sponge holder thingy that you oops has like two little suction thingies and you put this like inside your sink, so it hides the sponge, the kitchen cloth, whatever you wanna keep in there, but yeah, 
super convenient. I could not wait to get this because I hate when I leave my sponge just inside the sink and it's like all soggy and wet, it never dries out. Oops, so I just picked one of these and I took the silver one because my sink is steel sink. Oh. oh yeah, I'm so excited, finally. So um, up until now, the only thing that I had in the kitchen is this one, which is the Our Place. I'm sure this is their cast iron pan. And I picked this up on a Black Friday sale at Nordstrom because we were already like moving and I knew I needed a lot of like kitchen stuff. So I went to the uh, kitchen section on their sale during the sale and I picked this one up. It's so heavy, I need to put it down. So I'm so excited I finally got my pots and pans and I forgot how many pieces are in the set, but I just went for like the standard stainless steel, uh, pretty like basic set. I did not want to spend a lot of money on this because I just don't feel like I personally feel the difference. And yeah, if they last me, as long as they can last, it's fine. I mean, I remember like my mom and my grandma, they used to have like super like probably basic um stainless steel cookware and it lasted for like years and years and years like i pretty much grew up with one set of stainless steel pots and pans that my mom had i'm gonna link everything that i mentioned down below so you guys can check it out if you're in the market if you want to see like what i chose Okay, awesome, okay, awesome. They're pretty, okay, so I'm pretty happy with the. Okay, I think like there is a really good quality price ratio. They don't feel like overly heavy and good quality, uh, but the price was very affordable and they don't feel like super cheap and lightweight and like just terrible, considering that the price was on the affordable side. There's something sticky on the plastic. Oh, so excited about this one. When I was browsing, I was checking like the weight of the item because I knew that I wanted like a nice, beautiful, good quality like cutting board, but I just did not want to get like a super heavy one because sometimes the wooden ones are really heavy. I had one big, like very nice um, cutting board, but it was just so heavy and it was very difficult to clean it and like rinse it out because it was very big and heavy. I went for this one. I love the diagonal wood pattern. It says it's gonna help my knives stay sharp for longer because it's not gonna make them blunt. I know some cutting boards can be actually bad on your knives. So make sure to check that when you're buying a good cutting board. But yeah, so pretty. I think I'm gonna be happy with this one. So cloth napkins, I needed those and I just went for like simple plain white ones. They are pretty like bright white. Maybe I should have gotten the off white, like the more creamy color, but I just felt like I wanted more like restaurant style and I went for like bright white, it's fine. Something super glamorous, training pads for dogs. And in their case, these are not training pads. These are little toilets because they are bed trains. So, so these are so, so welcome in our home. I just picked up these very simple. They have like a ribbed 
texture. Maybe you'll see it in the morning when I make my coffee. But yeah, super simple mugs. I just thought they were cute and they're gonna go well with the dishes that I got. The whole set that I'm waiting, I think it's going to arrive tomorrow. It was supposed to come or today or tomorrow. And I thought this was it, but I have one last item. Let's see if I like these. Oh, these are so cute. I just picked up these, how do you call them? Like a coaster for your pots and pans. And I just loved the color, the texture, very like natural, earthy, woven texture. So yeah, these are super cute. And I also ordered some placemats, which are going to arrive, I guess, probably tomorrow, because they're not here. So yeah, that would be my little, well, it's not really a little uh, kitchen Amazon haul. I'm gonna link everything as it comes, as I get like packages, I'm gonna show them to you guys. I'm gonna show everything in the vlog. So um, yeah, everything's gonna be in the description box and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna put these all in the dishwasher. So we have all of that ready for tomorrow. And also let's open this up and see if it fits the drawer. That's pretty important before I can go, oh my gosh, should I just not open it because, oh yes, it fits. Oh. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I'm so excited that the delivery is here. We are getting our dining table, dining chairs, and nightstands for the master bedroom. I'm so, so excited. I cannot wait to see it in person because I ordered everything online like without even seeing it in the store or anything. So fingers crossed, I hope it fits the space and like the mood board that I put together. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys in a second when they unpack it they're just like opening up the packages out there in the um, hallway i guess that's like the procedure here is the table and the chairs it's actually been a few hours since they came and assembled everything i just had some work to do on my computer so i got to that first and here it is. I am so, so happy like with like the choice. It fits perfectly. So it's all slowly coming together. And I think I want to do like a full like tour once everything is like ready. So I think we're going to close the vlog here and I'll start another one pretty much right away i think i'll just hop in the shower first like wash my hair put myself together a little bit and then we're gonna kick start the day and get back to work i have so much to do today i need to make a plan and like i make a to-do list for this week actually not like just today because yeah there's just so much going on still i have to get back to some emails i have now like with the time difference I feel like that's like a first thing in the morning I have to do because people start sending things like back in Europe and it arrives here like very, very early in the morning. So when I wake up here, it's already noon over there. And so I need to check them super early and get back to everyone. I have some stuff to organize back in Spain um, because we still have to get like all of the repairs done. Uh, I think I touched on that briefly, but I'll do another video. I promise I'll do more videos where I go more in depth in uh, like about each topic because there's just like a lot and I don't want to mix everything together because there's like, you know, here, things that I'm doing in Miami, everything that needs to be done and sorted here. Then there is stuff that still needs to be sorted um, at my mom's place. And there is stuff that needs to be sorted in um, Marbella, in our apartment over there. So we have like three locations where things need to be done, needs to be followed up, and I need to like, you know, have control over, sort of speaking. So yeah it's a lot now that i'm starting to like think i'm getting overwhelmed again because um i need to make a list i used to have like a nice timetable that i made for my mom and i when we were doing her apartment and then also when we went to spain like the first week we had like a nice schedule laid out for us i need to do that again i need to like sort my calendar 
but yeah it's good to be back i am very excited to be back i am very very excited for like miami content florida content i i'm obsessed like with the weather everything like just this morning again went out to walk the dogs and we went to the beach and i still cannot believe that this is like where we're gonna live so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one